Automotive designers make heavy use of clay models to visualize their projects. They work well, but the problem is they're expensive and they take a long time to build. That's why they use computers now to be able to visualize the projects much earlier in the process. Now this brings us to a concept called chameleon that was developed by George Fitzmorris, one of our researchers, back in about 1990. Now, with chameleon, George asked the question, what happens if you take a flat panel display and attach to it a motion capture device so that the display knows where it is in space? Well, the concept is, therefore, as you move the display around, it updates the view to show what would be there in the virtual model. Now, the way we've taken this forward currently is what we see behind me. And this is an articulated boom that was developed by fake space. But instead of the old fake space binoculars, we've got an, an SGI flat panel display attached to it. Now, the boom is actually a counterbalance boom, so the display is practically weightless. But also, at each joint, there's a shaft encoder that lets the computer know where the boom is. So what we have in effect is, again, a flat panel display with a motion capture device on it. Now, all of this is communicated to the computer, which is running our 3D entertainment package called Maya. And inside, we have a model of a vehicle. So what George can do now is move the display around and move in and out and around the 3D model thereby giving him a kind of, shall we say, virtual reality, but a virtual reality in a form of a kind of 3D kiosk. Working this way enables him to interact with the virtual world in a manner which is far more natural than, say, what you would with a head-mounted display or a cave. And if you put a touch panel on the display, he would be able to interact and change the model as well. What we have is a new way of interacting with 3D which is consistent and simple and will work with any kind of model.